Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Stay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, um, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? 
waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in. So there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6. Wall Market. A real special place. But... I'm sure you already knew that. Right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place. Or any of the slums. Well? It took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Let's do this. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Go on! Buzz off! That. A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... 
Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. Yeah. Stay back! 
Looks like a dead end. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? It always gotta be so tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. On a second. Gotcha.
moved while I dropped the ladder. Cloud, over here. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Campbell, uh, composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense? Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, uh, Toy damages! Oh, so damages recompense! I, <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Get ready. <laughs>
Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Wait, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? What fresh uh, meat uh, just turned into toys? Uh, That's one. Uh, that was close. Uh, <laughs> You're done. It's over. Go on! Do your thing. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? It's this way. <laughs> <laughs> 